G'day. The winch on your four-wheel drive is a forgotten item. Most people put a winch on their bull bar and then forget to service it. That's right, you can actually service your winch and it's really quite simple to do. Some basic things that are gonna make sure that you're safe when you need the winch. You may not feel like you're the most competent mechanical person, but hey, really this is quite simple. And even if you're not confident to even have a start at it, take it to your local four-wheel drive specialist and get them to do this for you. Now, it's easiest to start right up here at the battery because that's where the energy is going to come from. There's a couple of things you want to do up here. You want to make sure that all of the terminals are nice and tight, okay? That makes sure that you're getting a, a good electrical connection at the points where the power is coming from. After you've done that, there's some great products on the market. This is just two that we've got here. This is a battery terminal cleaner. It gets all that white cruddy stuff off the battery terminals, any muck and grime, and it just cleans up those electrical connections so they're ready to go. So that's a cleaner. Now, once you've done the cleaner, this is a product that I really like to use, and it's a battery protector. All right, and basically, once you've cleaned the product, you give it a shake, give it a squirt on the terminals there like that. That's gonna stop the corrosion and stop these terminals from becoming dirty because when they're dirty it creates resistance when it's, you've got resistance it gets hot and electricity will not go through it so once we've sorted that out and got our battery terminals just nice and tickety boo we then head into checking the cables that go down to our winch generally they'll look like this a nice big red cable and there's a big black one follow those cables all the way down to the winch just like this and what you're looking for is that the cables are nice and tight and secure all right so I'm just checking these terminals, they're coming up just nice. Now once you've got down to the end of those cables, you'll find on the actual winch, there'll be four terminals. There'll be generally a red and a black and a yellow, and then there'll be an earth terminal. You wanna check all of those terminals. This one's got these rubber boots on it here. So we pull that back, get a spanner, and just very carefully, make sure if, it's, if the positive terminals are on there, the red ones, just make sure you don't short out your spanner on the car and just make sure these terminals are nice and tight and ready to go. Once you've done that, again, get your battery terminal protector, that stuff there, and give these a little squirt. And that again protects those terminals from corrosion. Then make sure you put these rubber boots back on so that they're well and truly protecting the terminals. So that covers off the electrical stuff. Now let's talk about cables. There's synthetic cable, or wire rope like this. Now this wire rope cable, to care for that, you're going to basically pull the cable off the winch drum. You're gonna check for frays, kinks in the cable, broken strands, anything like that, basically change the cable out. That's the safest way to deal with it. When you're laying a steel cable onto a drum, lay it in this manner here, where the cable sits side by side. So with the synthetic rope, the biggest drama with it is UV light. A lot of them nowadays are actually UV stabilised, so that sorts that problem out to a large extent. But it's also getting mud, grime and all that sort of stuff stuck down here in the fibres. Why does that matter? Because when you put this under load, the fibres move under great friction against each other and if there's grit and grime in there, that acts as an abrasive and cuts the strands of the synthetic cable. So what we do, on a regular servicing item, you pull all of the dirty cable off your winch. Now I'm not gonna do all of it for this, just to show you what we do. Get a bucket of water, throw the cable in there, give it a good slosh around and clean it up so that you get all of those fibers out there. If you wanna take the time to work the cable like this, see how all the fibers are opening up? That gets all that grime out of there. So you can take the time to do that and get it clean. The other way you can do it, if you've got the space, spool it all out, lay the cable on the ground, get a garden hose or a low pressure washer and just wash the cable. Get all of that grip, grit and grime out of there. Once you've done that, let the cable dry and then I'm gonna show you how we lay it back onto the drum. Firstly, I've got a mate in this situation hanging onto the hook there and loading up the cable. But if you're at home on your own, hook it up to a tree. Make sure you use your tree trunk protector, won't you? And that, with the handbrake on just lightly, will create a load onto the cable and load the cable just correctly. 
The other thing which we get when we're doing this, it warms up the electric motor, it warms up the gearbox and just moves the grease around in there, which is just great for the health of the winch. Let's lay this cable on. See how quickly I brought the cable across here. Now as we continue to go in, the cable will go back across that way and that will create this cross hat hatch pattern which is going to give us that result. It's going to stop that cable burying down inside itself. One last tip with a synthetic cable. When you're feeding out, don't feed out under power for too long. What happens is the break inside the drum gets really hot and it can melt the lower layers of the cable against the drum and that is, means that the cable's compromised and you should not use it again. So when you're going to power out a little bit, that's fine. If you're going to do a lot, put it on free spool and pull the cable out by hand. I hope that these tips have really helped you understand how easy it is to do basic maintenance on your winch. Now for more advanced maintenance, take it into your local four wheel drive service centre. They will be able to pull the winch out, pull it apart, re-grease it, make sure that all the electrical connections inside the motor are just right so that you can safely winch next time you're out in the bush. One last tip before I go. Before you do an obstacle that you think you might need to winch up, get your winch out, make sure it actually works before you go into the obstacle. Nothing worse than being in a bog hole and your winch doesn't work. I've been there, I learnt the lesson. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails. <laughs>